episode of John Sabone's Hypnosis Insights. I want to talk in this episode about how hypnotic suggestions work. Hypnotic suggestions work on multiple levels within a person's mind to improve their lives, perhaps to change a habit, perhaps to turn something around. Yet sometimes because the changes are subconscious, which is 94% of a person's mind, it seems like the new behavior is the old behavior until the conscious mind catches up. I've had clients call up here. I'm going to share three stories that happened in my work. A lady had come in here years ago to see me, and she wanted to stop eating cake. I said, do you mean when she called for the appointment, like a slice of cake? Oh, she said, oh, no, no, no. I eat cake every night for dinner. I said, you mean like a little piece, or what are you doing? She said, no, I eat a whole cake. I said, excuse me? She said, yes, I get off at the train station, and every night I come home from work, and I pass a bakery. And I stop in every night, and I buy a cake. It serves six to eight people. And then I go home, and I eat the cake in place of dinner. I can't help myself. And then I get sick to my stomach. I throw the cake in the garbage. And then I lie in bed being upset about it. So I did the session with her, having written and designed suggestions specifically for this woman. A week or so goes past, and she contacts me and says, I'm not sure the session's working. Call me back. So I called her back, and I asked her, I said, let me ask you a question, are you eating cake? And she said, oh, the strangest thing happened. Personally, I love it when the strangest thing happens, because normally that's where the improvement is. So I said, what do you mean the strangest thing happened? And she said, oh, you know, I park at a different train station. Oh, it's wonderful there. It's one set of stairs. You run right up the stairs if it's raining, and you get on the train. Or if it's going to rain later, you park on the other side. And then I just run down the stairs when I come home. I jump in the car, and I go home. And now I'm eating a regular dinner because there's no bakery there. I was wondering why I was parking my car at a new station. Wow! That's how hypnosis suggestions work. Quite often, improvements are made, and people don't even know they've made the improvement until their conscious mind catches up. A gentleman came in here from the previous week. It was a strange week the previous week. And he said to me on a message I got on one of my phones, I'm not sure the session's working for the stress management thing. Call me back. So I called him back. And every one of these examples, there were several telephone tag moments there where I was calling them, they were calling me, I was working, I was in, I wasn't in, they weren't in, they were working, whatever. So I asked him, after I pulled out his information, how is this working for you? Are you still stressed out at the office? No. How about in traffic going over the bridge? Nope. How about when you come through the front door and the kids are screaming and your wife is screaming, I'm telling daddy what you... No, no, not at all. When I'm driving my car, I'm a rock star. I play music and I sing along and I don't care about the traffic. My boss, well, I think he's, his days are numbered at my job and who cares? Improvement automatically is what hypnosis can do. Unknown to the person quite often. My favorite of these three stories was a lady who came in from five counties away to quit smoking. She was a referral from a friend of mine who was related to her and said, Please work with this woman. I can't work with her professionally. Also a hypnotist, a referral. So she calls and she says, I'm not sure this smoking cessation thing is working. Call me back. So I called her back. And I said to her, let me ask you a question. Are you smoking? And she said, no. Okay. Do you want to smoke anything? And she said, no. So I'm kind of scratching my head thinking, well, what does this mean? And she said, oh, the strangest thing happened. I love when the strangest thing happens. I'm like, excellent. Excellent. What happened? You know, I buy my gas in a different station. You know I have that sales job. I have to fill up the car three days a week. And this new place is great. It's brand new. It's freshly painted. Oh, they have a great little mini mart there. It's a little cheaper in gas prices and, and things inside the mini mart. And unlike the previous gas station where I always used to fill up, they don't bring me three packs of cigarettes every time I fill up my car like the previous place used to do. Wow! That's subconscious improvement, and that's what hypnosis does. Hypnosis is a very powerful tool for improving people's lives to create or inculcate benefit in people's lives, and that's the work we do as hypnotists. So, that's a little bit more of another episode of John Sabone's Hypnosis Insights. If you'd like more information about hypnosis, and the work we do as professional hypnotists, everything from the 
uh, complementary clinical work that we do as consulting hypnotists, to stage work, to demonstrations, to training work we provide as certified instructors. Take a look at the website I have listed at the end of this video. And if you have any questions within reason about hypnosis, I'll be happy to discuss them and to share insights I have from a career straddling four decades in the field of hypnosis. I am hypnotist John Sabone. Take a look at my website. It's been a pleasure bringing you this video. Please tune in again for upcoming episodes. Thank you very much.